We are currently in Vaxholm, Sweden. Hey lovely people, what's up? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing and I'm also really good. Today, here we have finally a different video which is not about Poland or anything. This is a place in Sweden called Vaxholm. We came here today, we reached a few hours ago I believe, and we were just roaming around this beautiful castle. And these are the weapons which the Swedish military used back in the early 1900s to defeat their enemies. You can just see by the weapons, they are really strong and very powerful. Today the weather was not so great because it was, you can see, it's very cloudy and it was also raining an hour ago so it wasn't the best but we are still trying our best to enjoy this trip as much as possible. You can see quite a lot of people are sailing the boat in the lake. This place is huge and there are a lot of these, these cannons lined up next to each other. And obviously the Swedish military don't use them anymore because it's too old, now it's just for like an exhibition, for a display, for people to look at it. There's also a bit of an information about this cannon on that little board thing. And here is me, I'm just walking. <laughs> This is a big cannon. Oh look, that's a... That's that yellow trans transportation thing is a roro ship, which means a ship which only carries cars, trucks, or any other vehicle from one side to another. You can see in front of the stairs, well, next to the stairs on each side, there are these cannonballs, which cannonballs, which are stacked up in the shape of a pyramid. And it, it looks beautiful. And it's also very creative. It's, it, uh, it matches the theme of this castle, too. And this is a gun. Okay, so that's the Roro ship. Oh, I'm just dancing here, huh? Trust me, there were a lot of people here, it's just that it was like around 12 p.m. Which is why many people went for lunch, so they went to a restaurant next to this castle, that's why it's very empty here. So we're just roaming around here all by ourselves. The 
this is a big beautiful tree we came to this castle from that ship because this castle is basically in the middle of the sea and so we took the bus from our home Wisner. we got off at Vexholm and then from Vexholm Stahon we took from Vexholm station we took this little boat and we came to the castle so the castle is in the middle of the sea So I know I said lake earlier in the video, but this is, well this is a sea which is connected to a lake. That's why I said this is a lake earlier, if you guys were wondering. of Roro ships here today as you guys can see and this is Max home Vexholm is a very beautiful place. You can literally go there anytime to see all of these beautiful buildings, foods. The foods are also really good. So it's a worth it place to go at. just wandering around. This is the boat we're gonna get on to go back to Vexholm station. We are now waiting at the port so that the boat can come again and take us. The boat came but there were a lot of people on the port which is why um, all of us couldn't fit in the port because the, it's a small boat. Ships. We saw like about three to four rower ships in this video. So yeah. Finally, a boat, a normal boat. Okay, so 
this uh, okay you can see guys it's raining now and it might seem like a light shower but it's actually raining a lot and it was also really cold oh look at this beautiful swans they're so pretty they have a lot of feather in their body which is why they don't feel the coldness they're so lucky <laughs> Okay, so we reached that Solom about an hour ago and we ate our lunch. We couldn't eat uh, near the castle at the host. We couldn't eat at the restaurant near the castle because it was only Swedish food and we cannot eat Swedish food. It's literally so dry and tasteless. No hate. So we came to Vexholm to eat Thai food. And after eating, we are now just walking around. We're just walking. So now we are in front of a restaurant. We're just showing you guys how the restaurant looks like and the chairs and tables in front of the restaurant. Right now we're just we're just exploring the Vex home more to see the beautifulness of Vexholm. <laughs> so this is an ice cream shop. Oh my god, I really wanted to eat ice cream, however it was so cold that my parents didn't let me. is decorated beautifully with those flags, flowers, and light posts, and it's really beautiful. What I really like about Sweden is that you will see a flower pot, like ev wherever you go, you will see a flower pot with at least 10 different types of flowers in it. Like that's how decorative Swedish people are. There are also some benches in between the flower pots to rest. But they're wet right now so you can't really sit on them. And there is a coop on our left hand side and on our right hand side there is another pathway and we will go there soon after buying something from coop This is a clothing store on the opposite side of Coop. 
But yeah, guys, that is how our day today in Vaxholm went. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notifications every time we post videos, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye!